have a date with the angel. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Presented by Plymouth. Star of the forward look. And the Plymouth Dealers of America. The time? About five months after Vicki and Gus Angel were married. The plot? You can't tell a book by its cover. The characters? They threw the book at us. We, we might as well go to sleep. You know Gus and George aren't going to get back to town tonight. Mm-hmm. Did you leave the lights on in the front room again? Yep. If the boys do come home, I'll wake you up, hon. I'm a very light sleeper. I wake up at the drop of a pin. Okay. Good night, sweetie. Good night, hon. Is that you, Gus? Sure, it's me, yeah. All right. How's the trip? Oh, fine, my fine, fine. <laughs> That's good. something just now. <laughs> Wilma? laid out in the front lawn, colder than mackerel. He probably tripped over the front hose. Uh, honey, you want to watch that? I want to watch... Gus, this man is a burglar. <laughs> this little fella, listen. Now, wait a minute, George. What makes you say that? Oh, 
I thought it was you, and I came out here, and I turned the lights on. He saw me, and I saw him, and he said something silly about the bathroom, and I, I screamed, and he ran. Oh, uh, Vicky, what do you mean he said something silly about the bathroom? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, he's rolling off the couch. I'll get something cold to put on his head. Don't let him get away. Gus, if that little guy's a burglar, I'm both of the Bobsy twins. George, you can't go by looks. My own grandmother has a face like a three-time loser. <laughs> Besides, Vicky saw him. Come here, honey. Uh, oh, you want a sandwich or something before you go to bed, George? Oh, don't tell me he was driving. <laughs> Wilma, he's the burglar. He is? What burglar? <laughs> this ice ought to... Oh, this ice ought to do the trick. Are the police on their way? We'll get to the police. We don't want to get to the police. We want them to get to us. Honey, you sure you didn't have a bad dream or something? Wilma didn't hear a thing. Gus, I walked into this room and I saw him. Now, I wouldn't make up a thing like... He's awake. Mister? Mister? He's out cold. Yeah. I better call a doctor. Gus, he just opened one eye and looked at me. What are we all standing here for? This man is dangerous. <laughs> I've seen jellyfish on the beach that look more dangerous than that. <laughs> we were talking about crawlers after the boys left. Remember, Vicky? Maybe that's what put it in your mind. You know how dreams are. Yeah, and Wilma's a light sleeper. Uh, she, should, she would have heard you scream. Did you scream? Huh? Well, what was he doing on our lawn at 3 o'clock in the morning? Trapping gophers? <laughs> You're right. I'll call the police and tell them to bring an ambulance. Ambulance? Honey, he's wide awake and listening to every word we say. Honey, let's not get unreasonable. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Hey, Gus, maybe there was a burglar. Thanks. And, and when Vicky screamed, this guy was going by the house. He ran in to help, stumbled over the hose, and that's where we found him. Could be. Why didn't you wake me up, honey? <laughs> Well, if nobody else will call the police, I will. Where? Oh, 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 oh. Easy. Where? Where am I? What happened? Suppose you tell us. What? Tell us what happened. Oh, I don't rightly know, folks. Hey, it sure was nice of you to bring me in like this. <laughs> See, that must have been a real novelty. You generally break in, don't you? Uh, uh. Hey, let's shake the, the cobwebs out of the poor old head, shall we? There we are. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Now, mm -hmm. all I know is I was walking down your very attractive little street when suddenly I heard a lady scream for help. That was my wife. Oh, she sounded like a lady. <laughs> but actually, I ran into the direction uh, of, of, of the disturbance, hoping to be of some assistance. Uh, next thing I remember, uh, I seemed to trip over something. Yeah, uh, that was the garden hose. You ought to watch that, Vicky. Uh, yeah, it, I don't suppose it was their fault. The next thing I remember, I'll wake up here with all you night nice gone people. <laughs> Why were you out walking at 3 o'clock in the morning? Uh, I go for walks when I can't sleep, Mr. Uh, uh, Angel, Gus Angel. How do you do? Uh, uh, Mrs. Clemson. How do you do? Uh, Mr. Clemson. Oh, right. uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, and this is my wife, Mrs. Angel. We've met. Oh. As I said, I couldn't sleep, so I, I went for a walk. Oh, I know what you mean. I sometimes twist and turn for hours. <laughs> Here, have you ever tried a nice glass, glass of warm milk just before bedtime? Well, I'm such a light sleeper that it doesn't work for me. Uh, occasionally it does for me, but all Oh, right. for heaven's sake! You were sound asleep, and you were, were burgling. Uh, uh, no. <clears throat> uh, it, uh, this burglar you speak of, uh, did he take anything? Oh, no, not that I know of. Ah, but you said he was inside the house. You know darn well he was. You was. You were. You were. Well, he was. Honey, take it easy. Uh, uh, Mrs. Angel's absolutely right. It ought to be reported to the police. Do you believe me or don't you? 
Honey, it's not a question of believing. We've all had dreams where, well, they're so real, we're sure they actually happened. Yeah, dreams can be so vivid. Well, thank you all once again for your kindness. And if I can be of any help, you can always reach me at the, the Bon Ton Motor Court just down the street. I'll drive it. Uh, thank you. Uh, watch the hose this time. Well, cheerio. <laughs> Honey, the least you could have done was, was thank him. Registered letter, Mrs. Angel. Hmm. I wonder who that's from. I wouldn't know. Uh, send a slip, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. insurance man, but since I happen to be head of the legal department, in my opinion, this case... Yes? Is Mr. Angel there? Well, well, yes, he is, but I need him right now. Mr. Chase, this is Vicky. Could I borrow him for one second? <laughs> All right, Vicky. It's your wife. Hello? Gus, I just got a registered letter, and you won't believe what's in it. Honey, I'm in Mr. Chase's office. Don't play games now. Tell me. Gus, the burglar is suing us. He can't sue us. Well, somebody better tell him, because he's doing it. Well, that sounds... <laughs> sounds rather legal. Is there anything I can do? Well, maybe, sir. Uh, Vicky just got a letter saying we've been sued. Oh? Well, here, let me talk to her. <clears throat> Hello, Vicky. It's Joe Chase again. Uh, <laughs> Gus tells me you're in a little trouble, huh? Eh? Hello, Mr. Chase. Yes. We're being sued by a burglar. <laughs> This wife of yours has a wonderful sense of humor. She said you're being sued by a burglar. Yes, sir. He broke into the house a few days ago, and, and I caught him, and I screamed, and he ran, and he fell over the hose out in front of our house and smacked his head and suing for damages. Can he collapse? <laughs> wait a minute. Say that again, will you? He broke into the house a few no, days ago. No, 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 no. I mean... <laughs> I mean, that part about being sued by a burglar. Well, it's true, Mr. Chase, we are. <laughs> I guess it does sound kind of silly. <laughs> Vicky, in all of my years of the insurance business, I've never heard anything as funny as that. Can he collect? Vicky, that would depend entirely on the insurance company <laughs> that handles your liability. <laughs> Vicky, Vicky, I'll uh, I'll look into this with Gus. I'll get back to you. Oh, and it may be necessary to meet at your house tonight. Of course. Uh, goodbye, Vicky. <laughs> Now, now you came to here. Yes. Ah. What? That's you screaming. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. It's all right, lady. I got locked out of the bathroom. Good, good, good. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Well, that's what he said when I screamed. That's why I thought it might have been a nightmare, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, Gus, tell me, uh, which way was this man facing when you found him out there in the front lawn? Facing the street, sir. Aha! Now, that means that he was running away from the house when he tripped over that hose. There, you see? Oh, honey, I never disbelieved you. I always thought... Oh, that must be the Clemson. Mm -hmm. I guess we won't need him anymore, eh, sir? Oh, well, I don't know, Gus. I want to get all the facts, and then I'll know what... Something wrong, George? you see. I'm sorry we're late. We drove around the block a few times. Oh, well, that's all right, now that you're all here. I want to explain the procedure of this thing. Now, we've all got to go down to this lawyer's office tomorrow and give a deposition. That means tell our story. As I understand it, Mrs. Clemson, uh, you were asleep at the time, huh? No. 
There we go. Vicky and I both heard this noise. Vicky got up and I followed her. She didn't see me. We both saw the burglar. He didn't see us. Vicky screamed. And when the burglar saw us, he said, It's all right, ladies. I was locked in the cupboard. How do you like that for a bulletin? <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. But now tell him what really happened. That's what really happened. Oh, Wilma, if you told a thing like that on the witness stand, they'd throw us all in jail. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Clemson, your loyalty to your friend is admirable, but I must know the truth. Vicky and I both heard this noise. Vicky got up and I called. Uh, she didn't see me, but we both saw the burglar and Wilma's lying like a rug. <laughs> oh, Honey, you were sound asleep. How would you know you were busy screaming? I think she's just wonderful. And now we get the water. <laughs> oh, Wilma, come on. Tell Mr. Chase the truth. You were out like a light, weren't you? Vicky and I both heard this noise. She got up and I followed her. <laughs> Vicky, what in the world are you crying for? <laughs> she tried so hard. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. My name is Samuel Bender. Samuel Bender. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Mr. Belknap said you were to go right in. Thank you. Good morning. We cool our heels for an hour, and that little thief goes right in. Whose side is that lawyer on, anyway? Well, he's Bender's lawyer, George. Well, he ought to be disrobed. Disbarred. That too. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Oh. Hi, please. Uh, Mr. Chase and Mr. Angel of Henshaw, Taylor, Malcolm, and Chase for Mr. Belknap. Bender versus Angel. Hello, Chase. Hi. Mr. Chase and Mr. Angel of Henshaw, Taylor, Malcolm, and Chase for Mr. Belknap. Bender versus Angel. Ah, oh, this shouldn't take any time at all. Say, you're not kidding. Does that lawyer his know that that miserable little rat fell down facing the street? <laughs> George, you may go in, Mr. Chase, <clears throat> Mr. Angel. Thank you. Well, don't they want me to? Ah, uh, later, Vicky. Later. Good luck, girl. The, the thing that fractures me is that I got taken in by that little con artist. So did I, but we know better now. Yeah, well, well, when I get through with him, you'll wish he was back in Cucamonga or wherever it was he got that accent. <laughs> they want you, George. Alone? <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, 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 wasn't that a little quick? Don't they want me to? Uh, later, sweetie. <laughs> Mrs. Clemson, too. Don't you want me? <laughs> Later, Vicky. Would you like something to read? There's new digests on briefs and depositions here. No, thanks. I... I have a survey of risks and indentures. Vicki! Oh, honey, what time did you go to bed after we left for San Diego? About 10 o'clock. Why? About 10 o'clock. No! Vicki, which bed did you sleep in? Gus's. Thank you. Which one is his? Gus, no. I don't know. Just answer the questions, Vicky. The one away from the big window. One away from the big, yeah. Mr. Chase! Vicky? Vicky, you didn't turn off the living room lights, did you? You overdone <laughs> They'll call you when they need you. I feel so ashamed of myself. What happened, George? <laughs> they want you in there, Vicky. And Vicky, please remember, the poor little fella has feelings. <laughs> and 
And as representatives of the insurance company, Mr. Angel and I resent this man playing on the emotions of our witnesses. Why, he could win an Academy Award for phony acting. <laughs> oh, will you stop taking down every word I say until Mrs. Angel gets here? I believe she is here. What? Oh, uh, hi, honey. This is uh, Mr. Belknap, uh, Mr. Bender's attorney. Mr. Belknap, my wife, Mrs. Angel. How do you do? Please be seated, Mrs. Angel. I only wanted to say that I feel no personal animosity in the case. And I hope you feel the same, Mrs. Angel. Nothing personal, no. Mr. Belknap, your client's a burglar. <laughs> Well, that doesn't seem to be a very popular opinion, Mrs. Angel. We are not conducting a poll. I saw this man. I, I can identify him, and I wasn't dreaming. I suggest that we talk settlement instead of a... Bad? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. Oh. <coughs> yeah? This is Act Two. This is a throbbing head, Bill. Now watch. Watch how bravely we drink that water. Oh, we mustn't tilt our head back too far. The bandage might fall off. March back to our seat, like a brave little Joan of Arc. Mr. Chase, he's still the burglar, but it is possible his head really hurt. That's what I told him. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, as to why I was in the neighborhood... No! Not the dog! Not the dog! <laughs> Don't listen to him. Why, he does everything but get out the violin. He's not fooling me, Mr. Chase. He's still the burglar. Uh, long ago, when I couldn't sleep, I used to take Toby for walks. Toby? His dog. The animal doesn't even any longer exist. You mean she... Yes. Three years ago. Easy, Sam. I'm sorry. Thank you, my dear. You see, that's why I was in your neighborhood at three o'clock in the morning. I like to pretend that I'm, I'm taking Toby out wandering when I can't sleep. <laughs> Silly, and it... Oh, shut up! <laughs> well, there's no need to be rude, Mr. Chase. Rude? Vicky, I will lay you ten to one. That Toby was the name of his cellmate in Sing Sing. All I'm saying is a man can be a crook, but he can still love his dog. <laughs> I know I saw this man. I know I did. I'm as sure of it as, as, as Diane that this is a desk, or that this is a lighter, and that this man is uh, a burglar. Thank you, Mrs. Angel. <laughs> and not only that, I, I'm... I'm sure I saw him wandering around the bedroom. Vicky, Vicky, you, you are? You saw it? Uh, all right, now, Vicky, tell me. What was he doing? What was he doing? Well, I, I think he was standing by the closet carrying a cat. A cat, that's it. <laughs> a cat! <laughs> He was asleep, but I... If Vicky said he was carrying a cat, he was carrying a cat. God, listen to me, you two are my clients. I'm trying to represent you. And it, not only that, but it's, it, it's your husband's insurance company that's being taken. And now you're coming up with cats. Don't yell at my wife. Oh, stay out of this. I don't want him to stay out of this. Vicky, can't you see that you're playing right into that little crook's hand? Why are you lay over me? Bender, Bender. I am not. I wouldn't defend a man who'd hold a cat up by the tail. That Sam sort of thing. And I didn't hang no cat up by no tail. All I did was to fish in a closet and pull out that measly little fur piece of hers. And it worked. Huh? <laughs> worked no cat. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, the defense read. <laughs> Margie, call the police. Michigan 5211. <laughs> That was a very pleasant deposition. <laughs> Come on, Gus Vicky, shall we go? Oh, <laughs> Bender, so healthy. Here, have a light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
the least you could do is thank him. Got a date with an angel, gonna meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program, Top Tunes, and you tell it on this same network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.